Hey you guys, it is your girl Madge. I'm here today for another video. I want to talk to you about how tired I am of my phone. I am so tired of my phone. I am so tired of my phone. I cannot emphasize how tired I am of my phone, okay? Got to thinking about that. What's with that? What, what's what's that coming from okay what does this mean for me why am I so tired of my phone and let me get a little bit more into what tired means I look at my dozens of whatsapp notifications and I get a sense of impending doom of even the idea of opening them up to see what they say I just turn off my notifications for Instagram and Facebook and set aside some time to go in later to look at all of the messages and comments and things like that. I just feel impending doom and dread with every single notification. Why is that? And why don't I get that with email? To a certain extent, maybe I get it a bit with email, but I find it much easier to just go into my email, check it, reply, or ignore if that's the correct thing to do, and move on about my day. But why don't I feel that way about my phone? Why don't I feel that way about my text messages, my Facebook and Instagram uh, notifications, my WhatsApp notifications? What is going on? Because the phone used to be such a source of excitement. I mean, think back to 2009, think back to 2008, think back to uh, 2004, you know, when phones were really just becoming something so popular and so accessible for the public to have. Whereas in the late 90s, it was very expensive and very rare that you had a cell phone. And then skip forward to today where there is no excitement around it. It's just anxiety. It's just a feeling of I'm going to reply to you only because I feel guilty and I feel like I have to reply to you. What is with that? Where is that coming from? I'm going to tell you a little bit about my perspective on that and what I think. Now... You know, I can definitely pride myself as someone who values in-person relationships, you know, and when I'm in person with someone, whether it be in a professional setting, whether it be a personal setting, whatever it is, um, I'm really, really usually very, very adamant on staying in the moment on making sure that I'm being present with the person in front of me and the same goes for tasks you know when I'm working on work when I'm working on my passion projects like I'm painting or I'm drawing I try not to be trying to multitask on several things at once because I really want to give something my due attention okay and so I feel like we live in the age of instantaneous response, of instantaneous messaging. Um, and in a way, I feel like it's kind of selfish. You know, I, I, I want to get to the core of the root of why I think it's selfish. And so maybe this will be a little bit of a rant, but stay with me here because maybe some of you guys feel the same way. Selfish, selfish. Why am I saying that word selfish? Well, I think it comes with expectation. When you send a text message to someone, it comes, or, or, or a, mess, a, a, a direct message, a text message, a direct message, you comment on their, their post, call me. <laughs> you know, when people do that to your post, I find that rather, rather strange. Call me, it's like, ugh. Um, there's a certain expectation with it, and it almost comes with a power exchange. It's like, hey, I know you're there. I know you're online. I see the little green light and I know you're online. And so you can't ignore me. Well, maybe the person isn't ignoring you. 
maybe, you know, they are so stressed out with everything that's going on in this world. COVID, rampant racism and violence, you know, inflation, just trying to make end meets, uh, ends meet, just trying to fulfill your duties, uh, trying to be a good wife, mother, son, brother, employee, whatever it is, that they are just too busy melting into a little ball of anxiety to get back to you immediately. You know, is your message or your message saying, hey, I knew that you were working on this, this, and this. How's that been going? No. You know, it's like when I when I look at the majority of these messages, these notifications that are just waiting for me out in the void, it usually has almost nothing to do with me. And I don't want to sound like that selfish person that's saying, oh, if you text me, it needs to be about me. You know, I don't want to be that person, but... Um, I find myself to be, well, I know that I am an empath. So let's put that there. I'm an empath and that means without verbal explanation, I can feel other people's emotions. I sense them, you know, whether it's happiness, sad, joy, I sense it and I internalize it. And empaths, they really, really have to make uh, a, an, an, an intentional um, effort to differ differentiate their emotions from others. And so when somebody is just bugging me, um, bugging me but out of, I don't know, maybe they had a bad day with their ex or they're feeling like inferior with their boss or something. It's like I can feel them coming to project that onto me, not to really ask me hey i'm really having a problem will you it's almost like they're coming to pick a fight i can feel when someone is coming to say oh well you dropped off the radar where have you been you know you you need to pick up the phone and call me why don't you pick up the phone and call me you know and and that's another thing is i really really miss the age of phone calls just call me stop texting me stop texting me i mean stop stop texting me stop sending me direct messages all all forms of instant messaging just stop because i am not an instant type of person i'm not a machine i'm not here to stop everything that i'm doing which in a world where it's so polarized we have all of these distractions, you know, productivity levels probably are going down because we're just so friggin' overstimulated all the time. It is not my job to sit here at my desk being a robot to respond to all of your messages instantaneously. The other thing I want to talk about is the fact that so much of the professional and academic sphere has entered its way into WhatsApp. I don't want to message you on WhatsApp. I want to message my family that's overseas, you know? I don't want my boss texting me at 2 o'clock in the morning at 6 p.m. on a Saturday, you know? That's not what I want. Stop texting me. Send me an email. Schedule a reunion with me. Schedule a meeting with me, okay? Like, I, I feel like I had so many groups in WhatsApp at some point between business and and when I was getting my master's to the point that like my friendships, my family, you know, the, the personal things in WhatsApp that primarily I used it for before were just falling by the wayside. And I feel similarly about Instagram and Facebook. I feel like I used in the past Instagram and Facebook as a way to connect with my friends and family, you know, the closest of those. And then all of a sudden, you know, all of my notifications are from weird family members or uncles who were like, seems like they're almost flirting with me, trying to get my attention to uh, other dudes who are not my family, but are still flirting with me, trying to get my attention. Um, sort of people that I haven't really been close with who almost are just, I, I don't even really know why they are reaching out to me. And then it's like, I've got so many notifications and WhatsApp from school and work and so many notifications and Facebook and Instagram from people who aren't very close to me to the point where I don't even get to give the time of day to the people who actually are very close to me. 
and I don't know how we got here. It's like I don't even know how we got here. I'm very tired of my phone. At this point, I feel like it is causing more anxiety and stress for me than it's actually causing me advantages. And I'm trying to come to what the solution for that needs to be. I do know back in 2014, maybe, something like that, I, all, I, I, I had a similar sort of awakening like this where I just had burnout. I had social media and, and technology burnout, you know? And I just quit Facebook. I shut it down and I was only present on Instagram. Now, I'm wondering if that is something that I need to do now um, because it really is getting out of hand for me. It's something that is causing so much of a sense of anxiety for me and um, I'm not loving it. It would be very, very difficult for me, I think, to delete WhatsApp because WhatsApp, um, I use to communicate with my family who are in the States because I live in France. Um, Instagram, you know, I wouldn't mind shutting it down. I wouldn't mind shutting down Facebook. Um, you know, what, what I think, honestly, uh, what I think very, very honestly that I will do is put a post on both Instagram and Facebook saying that I am taking a small hiatus away from social media in order to focus on myself and my well-being and that I'll be back almost pulling a Britney Spears which I'm going to talk about Britney Spears in another video because it is very true this idea of social media burnout and I think it has to do with the fact that we abuse it we really don't use it for our benefit anymore. We don't use it for a sense of enjoyment anymore. It's definitely something that we, it's toxic the way that we use it. We rely on it, it's codependent and um, something needs to be done about it. So um, I'm very much thinking about doing this for maybe all of them, maybe for Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp. I'm thinking of just putting on a post or changing my profile picture on WhatsApp and saying, hey, I'm taking a hiatus. Uh, I'll see you in the summer, you know, or something like that. I, I, I'm taking spring to just focus on myself. Uh, apologies for any inconvenience this may cause. If you need to reach me, you can reach out to me through phone, through my personal number, which you would have if you really do need me, or through email, um, you know, da 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 best of luck. But in these, I'm even <laughs> commissioning, my husband and I are commissioning a project downstairs to build some nice shelves, bookshelves in our living room. Because even, I even feel like in the past 10 years, I've stopped reading. I used to really, really enjoy reading. And now, I mean, most of my books are in the US. So I, we would even need to build our library up from scratch. But it's almost like, I'm okay with that because reading really was a source for me to um, disconnect from my online time and have something that was just um, purely traditional, something that's just like not overwhelming, no buzzes, no noise, no tinkles and dinkles and dings and all that stuff. Um, I feel like my husband isn't quite there yet, you know, even though he doesn't have a huge presence on social media, when he gets home, he just goes down that tunnel of just scrolling through Instagram and Facebook reels. And I'm just like, please be present, you know, like even when we spoke to our couples therapist, which I recommend to a lot of married couples, I mean, it makes the world of difference. But she even said like, you know, some days, choose those days to be the days that you turn your devices off, you turn the TV off, you sit down and you have dinner together. And I, I feel like that is something that doesn't come natural to us these days because we've become so embedded 
and technology and social media, but I think it's something that you need to force yourself to do. You need to force yourself to do those things like reading books, like sitting down to have dinner with the TV off and just talking about your days, like going out into nature. Um, I feel like I have neglected those parts of myself so much. And you know what it's led to? It's just led to anxiety. It's just led to stress. And if I could speak to any employers out there, any people who are um, decision makers within the corporate space, please stop spamming your employees on WhatsApp. Please, you know, send them an email. Have the courtesy, if you send an email on Friday evening at 7.30 p.m., have the courtesy to wait until Monday at 11 a.m. or whatever it is to get a response. Don't spam them on the weekends. Don't spam them on Sunday. People have to have a turnoff time. And I think that I have just neglected my turnoff time. I am overstimulated. Um, tell me what you guys think about that. Is it just me? Am I alone? I want to know. Tell me what you think in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Okay. Bye guys.